Hello and welcome. I'm Colin Hopkins with Key Renter Salt Lake. Uh, today we'll be discussing the recent updates to federal law regarding the life expectancy of different types of flooring. Super interesting, I know, but it's super important. Uh, these changes are going to impact how we charge tenants for unused li flooring life. So let's dive on in. Uh, previously, federal government recommended prorating carpet on a seven-year depreciation schedule. Uh, unfortunately, new guidelines now state that carpets have a lifetime expectancy of five years. Um, so going forward, unfortunately, we have updated our pro internal procedures to charge tenants accordingly uh, for the used li unused life of the carpet. Uh, similarly, vinyl and laminate flooring used to be prorated on a 10-year depreciation schedule and was updated giving now giving these types of floorings a longer life expectancy um, from 10 to 27 and a half years. So good news on that side. Um, it's important to note that there may be instances where carpet has been fully depreciated, but still has a useful life. Uh, this can happen in single family homes with a really high quality carpet, uh, sometimes in commercial settings with more durable carpet. Uh, in these cases, landlords may be able to charge more than the depreciated value if and only if they have substantial evidence of the carpet's condition at the current tenant's move-in. Uh, this means a lot of proof that your current tenant specifically damaged your property, high, high quality, well-maintained property. Um, uh, if it, even in this case, though, uh, you won't be able to charge the full cost. Um, the best rule of thumb is it's always safest to follow the depreciation schedule, even if the carpet continues to have useful life after it's done being depreciated. Um, the rule has will remain in place that you can still char can continue to charge the removal and installation costs uh, only for the flooring as well as was previously allowed. Um, so we'll still be able to charge for the install costs and the removal of the carpet, but not the actual carpet itself. Um, it's crucial for both landlords and property managers like me to be aware of these updated federal guidelines on flooring life and life expectancy. Uh, so by adjusting our procedures, we can ensure that we're charging tenants fairly and stay in compliance with the law. Um, as always, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to me. And thanks for joining today. Stay tuned for more updates.